Randy, uh, it's, it's really, I appreciate your taking the time uh, to get us all on Facebook and to, to get connected again. And uh, it's been especially uh, nice to be getting all the good karma, which uh, I'm certain we're making a lot of progress along the Eightfold Path. And I really appreciate your uh, your concern for my spiritual well-being. The only uh, complaint that I have is that every time you send me karma, it comes in one of these cardboard boxes. And... Um, we have been exchanging a lot recently, and you notice that the pile is getting rather high. Um, again, not a big deal, I really appreciate it, but uh, it is sort of filling up the house. And uh, I have to, of course, flatten all these and take them to the recycling, which I suppose in itself gets me even more good karma. But still, you can you can see the problem, especially when you know I have a recital coming up and I'm, I'm trying to keep track of Blackboard content for five classes. It, it, it's a lot to do. Um, so thank you very much, and uh, I I really again appreciate the spiritual uh, aspect of this. But uh, if I could just suggest instead of karma, we start exchanging. Kramas. Now, a krama, as you remember, is, is the, the height of Cambodian fashion for so the last, I think, 500 years or so. Uh, I, I, I have one I can demonstrate. Hold on a second. Okay, this is my krama here. As you can see, it's, it's a, a, a nice uh, light scarf worn like this, or uh, some of the, the, the guys over there wear it this way, which is also very fashionable. Um, you can also do the sort of double loop uh, around twice like that. Looks very good. Uh, as I say, this is um, an indispensable article of Cambodian clothing. It's used for carrying babies and apples and, you know, washing things and just about everything. It's a very uh, useful piece of cloth item, and I think we could actually use several of these. Uh, so, just a little, just maybe we could sort of ease off on the karma and send a little more karma. Well, thank you very much.